Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited because I am filming a tag haul. Um, I have decided that rather than doing a tag haul every time I go to the tag store and buy something, I will save it all up for a month and then do a sort of collective tag haul for that month. So everything that I'm going to show you guys today, which I have here out of frame, uh, is stuff that I have purchased in the month of January. Um, this is just all random stuff, um, some of it I needed, some of it I just wanted, some of it I got because it was cheap. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to show it all to you guys and let's get into it. So the first thing that I picked up was these core steel treads for my stirrups. Um, I have the composty, uh, plasticky kind of stirrups, I don't know if you guys know what they are. They're on my saddle here, I don't know if you can see them, that's what they look like. It's I'm not going to be able to see them, but um, they currently have blue treads on them. And because the saddle and the leathers and basically all these other gear is black, I decided that I would get a pair of black treads to go on those. Um, I just haven't got around to putting them on yet. So, yeah, that's those. They were $7.95 for two from Horseland. Okay, the next thing that I got was a pair of. Dublin gloves. These are the Everyday Splendex gloves in black and they are in a size large. Um, I have big hands so I have to get the large even though I'm quite a little person. Um, yeah so these are just the black leather gloves. Um, they have the air vents here along the top of the hand, the elastic at the wrist and then they've got kind of this, um, I don't know what it is, it's like a stretchy kind of nylon breathable fabric here down the sides and in between the fingers. I only have one other pair of gloves and they're just like a kind of fabric-y, cottony kind of um, material and I've been wanting a decent leather pair for ages so I picked these up. They were $49.99 from Horseland as well. So that's that. Uh, the next thing that I picked up was also from Horseland. Most of this stuff is, there's only a few things right at the very end that weren't from Horseland. Um, and the next thing I got were a pair of neoprene, neoprene, neoprene boots. Um, these are just a twin pack for the front um, and they are the white ones in a size full. Spike is a warm blood, quite a large um, build horse so he generally gets either large or full size things. Um, I've had these before, I've had a pair in black and I've wanted white for ages because I just think white looks great um, on bays. So yeah, I picked these up. Um, they were $39.99 for two and I think I will probably end up going back and getting some back ones as well. Um, I obviously haven't used these as yet, as you can tell they're still in the packaging. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to try them out when we get around to riding again. And they just look like that. So that's them. The next thing that I picked up, which is down here, is a new cotton combo summer rug. Um, Spike absolutely tears through his rugs. We're lucky to get one season out of them. This is his third rug this summer, so he's doing really well. I think this is a new record for him. Um, so this is just the Weather Beater Summer Sheet Light Combo in red, navy, and white. Um, and we got it in a 6.9 because, like I said, he's quite a big build horse. Um, and yeah, it was $129.95, and it came from Horseland as well. Um, but I think I got it cheaper because I had some, like, dollars for my points thing. Um, so I ended up getting, for, like, $100 it there and obviously I can't show you the rug uh, because he's currently wearing it but that is what it looks like. The next thing that I got was just a plain white um, all-purpose saddle pad and it is the Roma brand. Um, I don't have just a plain white saddle pad so that's why I decided to get this. Um, at some point, maybe the end of this year or into next year, I would like to start showing Spike in some uh, dressage classes. Um, that's obviously like what he was bred for. Um, but of course, having his sway back, he's never really been trained to sort of that level where he'd be able to compete. So 
my goal at some point for this year is to bring him into some work, um, full-time work, and hopefully either by the end of this year or sometime into next year, start showing him. Um, so I just picked this up because um, I thought it would be great for that. And yeah, it's just the Roma pad and it was $34.95. The next one that I picked up is this saddle pad here and I'm really excited about this because um, I'm obsessed obsessed with anything like neutral grey, black, white, obviously, that white saddle pad. But um, yeah, I have wanted a grey saddle pad for ages. I don't even know if this is going to look good on Spike, I don't, I don't know, I just saw it and had to get it because I loved it. So I look like I'm wearing no clothes right now, this is awkward. Anyway, um, yeah, I saw this and knew I had to pick it up because I have been wanting a grey saddle pad forever. So I picked that up and I was really chuffed because it was only $16.50, which is like ridiculously cheap for a saddle pad. Um, yeah, so it just looks like that and it's got this little kind of, I don't know what it is, it's like a rubbery and puffy showmaster emblem thing down here. Um, only on the one side, the other side is just plain grey. Yeah, so that was very exciting. And the last lot of products I want to show to you guys are some aloe vera products. Um, and these are great for horses who have Queensland itch like Spike does. So I was really excited to get these to try them out on him. And there are probably seven or eight products here that I want to show you guys and so I don't forget I have written down exactly what they are and what they do on my phone to jog my memory because otherwise it would just be a disaster I'd end up telling you wrong information because I'd forget because that happens so the first product is this hand and face soap um, and it is a fantastic shampoo for horses who have itch it is obviously made from aloe as all these products are so they are natural um, which is great because I don't really like to use chemicals um, on my horse unless I absolutely have to so these products are fantastic if you prefer to use something that is natural um, that doesn't contain chemicals um, yeah so this is the first one um, it is just the aloe hand and face soap and it is a fantastic shampoo um, and yeah, I have not much else to say about it. That is all I really have to tell you. So the next one is the Aloe First Natural Soothing Spray. Um, this is it here. It um, is a soothing and moisturizing solution which contains aloe vera, obviously. Um, and it makes a fantastic coat conditioner and you would use this product after you bathed your horse in that one. So you would wash them down using that and then um, dry them off and once they were dry you would spray this um, onto their coat and yeah it is a fantastic product for soothing itch and also moisturizing their skin which can be really important when they do get itchy because I found um, that when Spike gets itchy he also gets really dry kind of flaky skin um, so yeah that is what that is for um, the next one is this aloe vera gel drink um, it is fantastic for itch as well it treats the itch from the inside obviously because you're feeding it to them in their food so you would add some of this into their feed um, and it would help obviously protect them um, from not protect them from bugs but it would stop their reaction to the bug bites being quite as severe as what it would um, otherwise so yeah that's that one uh, we haven't used this on spike yet some of you guys may know that he had um, colic he got colic he colicked at the start of the month um, so we've just been really careful about what we feed him he's not been getting any treats which he's not happy about um, and yeah so we've just been kind of monitoring his diet pretty closely just to make sure that he obviously recovered fine so I haven't tried this product out yet but I'm really excited to try it um, obviously because he gets that itch and yeah anything we can do to stop that is fantastic in my book so keen to try that one the next product is the Aloe Heat Lotion um, and it is a great product for uh, keeping bugs and um, 
bitey insects off your horses so you would put this onto the longer hairs of their mane and tail um, and it acts as a repellent for any bugs um, and midges so anything that might bite your horse that would cause them to itch um, so that's that one the next three products I have here are the Evershield stick and the jelly these two here so one of these is a stick kind of like a rolly pony stick kind of thing and the other one is a gel and both of these products are fantastic for soothing any existing itchy spots that your horse has so I know when Spike gets itch and he rubs on things he gets like spots where he rubs off hair and gets kind of dry flaky skin um, and that's usually like around his wither and on his neck and sort of down on his rump as well so I would just rub these products into those spots and that just sort of helps soothe them um, and makes him stop on it itching them even more because if anyone has an itchy horse they would know that when they get an itchy spot um, they tend to want to itch it to get rid of the itch but that just makes them itch more and it kind of just keeps going until they end up rubbing themselves to the point where they're causing like bleeding and scabbing and it's just not good. So these products here are fantastic for helping to soothe that itch um, and encouraging them not to continue to scratch themselves. So that's those. And the last one kind of ties into that last point I made about how um, they will continue to scratch themselves to try and soothe the itch. Um, if your horse does do that and you found that they do scratch themselves to the point where maybe they are getting small cuts um, or there's some scabbing then this is the product that you would then use you would stop using the jelly um, and the stick and switch to this um, cream um, this is a blend of aloe vera and bee propolis which nourishes skin um, moisturizes and encourages healing as well so this would be the one to use obviously if you have a horse with really really bad itch and he yeah, scratches the point where he's got some sort of small cuts or scabby areas so yeah that's all of the aloe products and that is everything that i purchased this month um i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you would prefer me to continue doing sort of collective tack hauls at the end of every month or whether you prefer if i sort of just do them every time i get stuff um i just sort of try something new out and yeah do a bigger I suppose tack haul rather than a small one just showing you guys what I got from a specific visit to the tack store so definitely let me know in the comments down below if you like this collective tack haul and I will see you in my next video